how well do you think you know the United Kingdom? This land of the red phone box, the double-decker bus, and the iconic Big Ben is steeped in a rich history and diverse culture that goes beyond the well-trodden tourist paths. Today, we're setting sail on a journey of discovery to delve into the lesser-known facts that make the United Kingdom unique. So, buckle up and prepare to be surprised as we uncover five things you probably don't know about the United Kingdom. Did you know that the iconic London tube map is not geographically accurate? A surprising fact, isn't it? This masterpiece of design was the brainchild of Harry Beck, an engineering draftsman, who first introduced it to the world back in 1931. Beck had a unique vision to transform the messy and complex web of train routes into a streamlined, color-coded diagram. He wasn't concerned with geographical accuracy, but rather readability. He wanted to make navigating the labyrinth that is London's underground system as simple as possible. The result was a map that was more symbolic than literal, a simplified representation of a complex network. It was a radical idea, but it worked. Beck's map was a hit and it remains largely unchanged to this day. So next time you're navigating the London Tube, remember it's not as it appears on the map. Have you heard about the Poet Laureate, a position appointed by the monarch? This is a tradition that goes back to the 17th century, a time when the quill was mightier than the sword. The title of Poet Laureate is a special one, currently held by the talented Simon Armitage. This role isn't just about penning verses on a whim, oh no, it's a royal duty to write poems for significant national occasions, expressing the mood and spirit of the kingdom. Now here's a fun tidbit. In the past, the Poet Laureate was entitled to a butt of sack, which is essentially 600 bottles of sherry. Yes, you heard that right. The position came with a generous supply of this sweet fortified wine. A poet's inspiration perhaps? Or maybe just a royal perk? Imagine being the Queen's personal poet and getting paid in sherry. Ever wondered where the smallest police station in Britain is? Well, it's nestled right in the heart of London. In the southeast corner of Trafalgar Square to be exact. This intriguing little structure was constructed back in 1926 during a time when protests and demonstrations were a common occurrence. The tiny station, no larger than a broom closet, was ingeniously designed to accommodate a single police officer. This solitary sentinel was tasked with the important job of keeping a watchful eye on the bustling square, ready to spring into action at the first sign of trouble. It's a testament to Britain's innovative approach to law enforcement. Quite a snug work environment, don't you think? Did you know that the Tower of London is home to a group of captive ravens? This might sound like a quaint bit of trivia, but it's steeped in centuries-old superstition. Legend has it that, if the ravens leave the tower, the kingdom will fall. This belief was so deeply ingrained that Charles II, despite the protests of his astronomer, insisted on keeping the ravens within the confines of the tower. As a result, these magnificent birds have been a constant presence there for over three centuries. A team of dedicated Raven Masters ensures their well-being and, of course, their continued residence. So, it seems the fate of the Kingdom is not in the hands of politicians or monarchs, but rather, the fate of the Kingdom lies in the wings of these Ravens. Don't forget to subscribe for more surprises.